Hey, vintage divers, all you old guys. <laughs> Not necessarily a lot of our vintage dive group, uh, they're young. Uh, they seem to enjoy diving with the old gear and it's a lot of fun, absolutely. So uh, I want to take a minute today. We've talked about Skin Diver Magazine in the past. And I, I, I think I've made it pretty clear that at one time, Skin Diver Magazine was universal. It was the Bible. Every month, every diver around the world, certainly in North America, went out there and uh, found a, a, his monthly Skin Diver Magazine and read it cover to cover. Great magazine. Had fantastic pictures, uh, 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 travel, new equipment. Uh, regulator service. Yeah, it actually had sections in there where it would tell you how to service your regulator. How weird is that, right? I mean, we're talking the 50s and the 60s and the 70s maybe even, and all kinds of neat stuff in there. And as I've enjoyed them, I've noticed a few things that I want to share with you folks. In particular, <clears throat> there is uh, the illustrations on the front cover. Now, many of, the many of the front covers had pictures. So here's a typical Skin Diver magazine. It's got a picture of a diver. Okay, nice diver, well, nice guy. And Looks like he's in California, maybe, in the surf, diving. So many of the uh, Skin Diver magazines had pictures, photographs of uh, divers. Uh, the later ones, getting into the 60s, were in color. The earlier ones weren't. They were black and white, but they were still exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a number of the uh, Skin Diver magazines, and quite, in fact, quite a few, 25 or 26 of the Skin Diver magazines, had an illustration on the front. Let's call it a painting. That's right. There, there were some well-known artists at the time and who specialized in underwater art. Now, there's one chap in particular whose name is John Steele. S-T-E-E-L. No E on the end, just John Steele, uh, who was a very a renowned skin diver. He had many, many talents. He, he was a hunter, a fisherman, outdoorsman. Uh, a bit of a hero, as a matter of fact. He fought, to, he fought for, for the Americans in three or four different wars, was awarded many, many times, three Purple Hearts alone, plus um, a Bronze Cross and other awards as well. Uh, lived in California, born in New York, but lived in California most of the time and skin dived a lot. And became a very well-known artist, did a lot of artwork for a lot of different organizations, Institute Walt Disney. He did artwork for Walt Disney, a lot of books and magazines and so on. And he was... Uh, I guess perhaps because of his skin diver uh, interest, he was uh, commissioned to, to do covers, several covers for Skin Diver magazine. I'm going to show you just a few today. Um, Kevin has um, all of them, and I'm going to get to him. I'm going to ask him to go through them uh, quickly so that uh, you can see them behind me and, and uh, take a look at them. And what you need to do as you look at these paintings is, first of all, appreciate the artwork. I mean, John Steele's uh, paintings were renowned for their realism. There are a couple of cases where it's hard to tell whether or not it's a painting or the real thing. Is it tone, the muscle, muscle body uh, of the diver, plus the marine animals was quite incredible. But the other thing I want you to think about is pretend that you're 14, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. You're a brand new scuba diver. You just learned how to scuba dive and, and, uh, and uh, oh, it's exciting. You're a frogman, the things that you found and seen underwater. And you walk into a, a magazine shop, um, and uh, you walk past the magazine aisle, and you happen to glance up, and you see this. Brand new scuba diver, young, impressionable. What's the likelihood that you're not going to buy this magazine as you walk out of the store? Pretty slim. That's a John Steele painting. And it's typical of John Steele painting. First of all, very, very colorful, very realistic, very action-filled Absolutely, and, uh, and, and very exciting as well. That's pretty typical. There was always a lot of action in John Steele's paintings. Now, I want to tell you some more about John Steele paintings, and that is that uh, the original John Steele paintings, his paintings, are quite valuable today, thousands of dollars. Uh, there are very few of them around. All of these, all of these illustrations, I, I believe anyway, all these illustrations were made as an oil painting, and sometimes there were prints made of the oil painting, but often the oil painting itself was the basis for this, this illustration. And the original oil painting, which was often sold to different divers around the world, uh, those original oil paintings are quite valuable today. Uh, now, it wasn't always on the outside. This is the front cover of this magazine, a do-it-yourself magazine, big in those days. And inside on the back cover, that's a John Steele painting. Now, take a look at that. Can, can you imagine that? You know, absolutely incredible. Look at the body on that diver. Look at the fish, the blood. 
a spear, all the details, everything was absolutely accurate. You could look at these bits and pieces and say, hey, that's a Healthway spear gun, like the one I... It was his, his, his commitment to realism was very, very strong. And there's a typical example. Now, the other thing that John Steele did, because he was a very well-known diver, is he often would use his dive buddies as subjects. Yeah. Some of those dive buddies I know, I either know them personally uh, or I have spoken to them on the phone. And this particular image is based on one of his dive buddies. Yeah, that's one of his dive buddies. I won't bother you with names right now. Some of the names you know, Dr. Sam and, and uh, Ron Church and other folks as well. Here's another one. Okay, you're 12 years old, brand new scuba diver. You walk past a magazine rack and you see this. What's the likelihood you're going to miss it? Huh? You guys are exciting and into wreck diving. John Steele painting. Eh? Here's another one that was based on, I think this was based on Ron Church. I, I don't know if the names may not be deadly accurate in my description. But here's a painting that is based on, uh, I think it's Ron Church in this particular case, of a spear fisherman in California. That's where, that's where uh, John Steele moved from New York City, moved to California. And this is based on, uh, on one of his dive buddies diving, doing his diving. Here's another one for the shipwreck lovers. Pretty incredible, huh? There are 25 magazines from the Skin Diver magazines were painted by John Steele. Another one again, and one more. Pretty impressive. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, <clears throat> uh, he deserves to be mentioned. These people should not be forgotten. Secondly, he brought a great deal of pleasure to young divers and old divers and even today. And um, uh, as, as well, uh, I think that these, uh, these magazines are pretty incredible. You don't often get that much anymore on magazines. You don't often get illustrations, paintings. It's almost always photographs and usually uh, uh, computer modified photographs. No, not in this case. This is, uh, this is the actual photograph that John Steele made of that diver doing his thing underwater. Pretty incredible stuff. You can actually read about John Steele. I'm going to get uh, Kevin to put a couple of uh, links on there. You can read about his life, his biography. I read about some of his friends. My, my dear friend, Dr. Sam Miller, who uh, recently departed, uh, was, uh, was well known uh, and, and a good friend of John Steele. In fact, uh, he has one of John Steele's original paintings hanging in his home in Pismo Beach, California. I've seen it many times. And another diver that deserves mention as well in relationship to John Steele is Ron Pavelka. Now, Ron is, uh, also lives in California and uh, Vinci's diver, I guess you'd say that. I hope you don't mind Ron, he's an old guy, <laughs> but he's been diving for a very long time. Also knew John Steele, had many of his paintings, many of his illustrations over the years. He still has a, a couple of paintings. I'm going to see if I can find pictures of those. I want to mention Ron, a big, big fan of John Steele, Skin Diver Magazine, and a vintage diver too. This was a one-off book written by uh, Bill Barada. Bill Barada is a famous, famous diver, and he worked. Uh, he wrote many books. He wrote a book with Lloyd Bridges, Mike Nelson. He wrote other books. He worked on a lot of films, worked on Sea Hunt, other films as well. And uh, this is a book written by Bill Barada. And that uh, picture on the front, if you take a look at it, you begin to recognize John Steele paintings, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and enjoyed the pretty pictures and the ones that Kevin has put on the back behind me. And uh, I'll see you real soon. Some more vintage scuba from Alec Pierce Scuba. Take care.